On behalf of the George H.W. Bush Presidential Library and Museum, hello and welcome to our Gifts of State Elementary program. My name is Ivy, and I'll be your host today. All of our education programs are available at our website, bush41.org. Once you get to the page, simply go down to the Education tab and select Premier Programs, uh, Field Trip Premier Programs. From here, you may click through different programs we have available for download, such as Constitution Connections, Who Done It, Bush News, and of course, the Gifts of State program that we're doing today. For our Texas educators, the relevant Texas Essential Knowledge and Skills, also known as TEKS, are listed on the front page of every program. However, these programs do align with broader national standards as well. Let's go ahead and get started. Today, we are going to focus on activities from the Gifts of States Elementary program. This one right here. <laughs> that can be readily done from home, even without a printer. Though I do ask that you make use of our download files and please have at least an electronic copy of the program in front of you, as well as some paper and something to write with, such as a marker, pen, pencil, or crayon. I do encourage that this activity be done by a student with adult supervision. All right, there are several ways to get this done, but let's go ahead and try this way first. So I want you guys to scroll down to page seven, please. Or you can flip through the pages if you happen to have printed it out. All right, here we are. So we're looking at the gifts of state artifacts themselves. So an artifact is really just a fancy word for saying it's an important object, something that is significant that we want to hold on to that also says something relevant about maybe a culture, where it came from, or the time period, something like that. So it's just an object of special importance that we can use um, in education, really. So let's see. All right. Now that that's explained, <laughs> let's go ahead and give you guys the first challenge. You guys think you're up to it? I think so. All right. I would love if you guys would please look through pages 7 through 12. As you can see, it's a mix of maps and objects. All right. And as you start looking through this, I want you to take a moment and I want you to think about what is a gift of state? So you're looking at the maps, you're looking at the objects. Hmm. What is a gift of state? How are the maps relating to the objects? Why do the objects matter as artifacts? What is a gift of state? Okay. I think that was enough time. If you need more time to think about the question, what is a gift of state? Please go ahead and pause the video and just give it a little bit more thought. And just resume when you're ready. That means to press the play button. All right, now I'd like you to please go ahead and turn towards an adult in the room or a fellow at-home classmate or even your favorite stuffed animal or a pet. And I want you to tell them, what do you think a gift of state is? All right. If your answers were along the lines of it's an object and or it relates to a foreign country, you are correct. A gift of state is an object exchanged, in other words, given between leaders of two countries in order to foster or build good relationships. Okay, so again, a gift of state, such as the objects you see on your screen, 
is a special sort of object, also what we might be considered an artifact, so something really special, full of meaning. So something that represents the culture of the place it was given to, from, yeah, culture to and from, it can be either. Um, and is exchanged between two world leaders. Okay, and it's meant to build those relationships. So, in this context, also known as the situation, state, right here, the gifts of state, is another word for country. I know we have our 50 states in America, but in the context of gift of state, it is between countries because state is another word for country. So when we talk about gifts of state, we are talking about a gifts uh, one country gives to another. And that's why they're called gifts of state. <laughs> All right. So we can get this concept in our brain a little bit more about how gifts are meant to build relationships and foster friendships. I would like you to go ahead and please grab a piece of paper. For me, uh, it's going to just be a, a digital screen, but similar concept. So I would like you guys to please take a piece of paper. And I want you to draw or write a description of a time you and a friend exchanged gifts or, you know, gave each other something at the same time. Pause the video for as long as you need to to get the sketch out or write your description, okay? So again, you are drawing a, a picture of the, either the objects that got exchanged or you're writing a description of it. You can include things about how the moment felt. Was it a ceremony like a birthday party? Was it or like Valentine's Day at school? Uh, you know, what did it make you feel? Just you can have the object, the circumstances, things like that. All of those are totally relevant and matter. So please just go ahead, take a moment and get drawing and or writing. All right, welcome back. So I hope you paused the video, drew the sketch of that memorable moment where you exchanged a gift with a friend and are now back. So I just kind of want you to keep that feeling in your heart of um, that moment where you exchanged that gift with a friend, the circumstances surrounding that and all the things. Um, just keep those things in mind as we continue forward and talk more about gifts, okay? All right, so let's look back at pages 7 through 12 of the handout. These are just several of the gifts of state that President George H.W. Bush received on behalf of the American people during his presidency. I am paraphrasing a touch, but Article 1, Section 9 of the Constitution states, No person holding any office shall accept any present or title of any kind from a foreign state. Therefore, in the United States, gifts of state belong to the people, not the person receiving them. So these gifts do not belong to um, President George H.W. Bush, but they belong to us, the people. They are symbols of the friendship between our country and another country. The United States also gives out gifts to other foreign states as well. Remember, state being, in, in this case, another word for country. So we give gifts and we also receive them. It goes back and forth and back and forth. And they all, well, all the ones we receive belong to us, the American people. Now, I did promise that our activities could be done without the availability of a printer. So let's get creative. I need you to please take the, a new piece of paper or flip over the paper that you did your um, friendship gift on. So that way you have a nice, clean, blank space to work with, okay? I'm going to go ahead and pull up my example page. So what you need to do with this blank piece of paper is you are going to draw 10 big boxes on there for me, please. Go ahead and draw for me 10 big boxes. I'm sure y'all's boxes are going to be absolutely gorgeous. I joined y'all in the challenge and I freehanded my boxes right here on this page. Again, please draw 10 
big boxes so that it fills up the page completely. I'll give you guys a moment for that. Okay, so at this point, I hope you have your nice 10 big boxes just on that page for us. And here's what we're going to do with it. You're going to look back at your copy of the program. And we're going to focus on pages 7 through 12. All right, so again, we're on pages 7 through 12. As you may have noticed from when you studied the program earlier, there are 10 gifts of state specifically 10. So what we're going to do is I want you to take each of these objects and you're going to draw a sketch of it inside of one of these boxes. So just give it your best sketch or you can give it a really good description um, but just go ahead and please fill in one box per object. I'm going to go ahead and pull up my example it's going to look a little different from y'all's because I just went ahead and <laughs> used the pictures from the program itself simply for the sake of clarity, but I have a feeling y'all are going to do amazing with the drawings. So please go ahead and just draw them onto the page for us. There we go. So you can see all 10 all at one time. Go ahead and pause the video now and just take the time you need to draw it. All right. So thank you. Okay, and welcome back. At this point, you should have a good idea of what each of these Gifts of State's objects are, such as a cloth costume or a carved dancing bear of stone. All right, so you're going to go back to program page eight. You're going to see four maps on this page. I want you to go ahead and look at the piece of paper where you have those 10 sketches of the gifts of state and you are going to match that with the correct country of origin. Origin means where something came from. So we're going to be looking at where did each of these gifts come from, their originating country. Each map represents or shows a different country. Okay, and there's maps on page 8, on page 10, and page 12. Okay, so those are the maps you're going to be looking at. So what I would like for y'all to do is please write the name of the country of origin, otherwise, otherwise known as the gift giving country, above your sketch. So we can look at the one from Mexico right here and we are going to identify that as this saddle. If we need a little bit more help with that we can go back and look at the image of itself and we can see here that it says the United Mexican States. And if you need an adult to help you read or a classmate, that is perfectly fine. You know, do what you need to do. Use the resources you have available to you and such like that. Just go ahead and label each of these objects, please. I'm going to go ahead and let you pause the video here for a moment as you do that. Please press play when you are ready. And welcome back. All right, so I'm going to go map by map and help you all identify just to make sure we all have the right answers. So first we have Iceland. So Iceland is going to be this figure right here, the Viking ship model. Uh, Saudi Arabia is going to be the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia gift, in solid gold. Then we're going to have the gift from Nigeria. And that one is right here. It is the traditional costume. Then we have from Canada the dancing bear right here. Next we have France right here with their gift of a statue. Then we have the Republic of Korea with this map. And this is their gift right here. Okay, and then we have Yemen right there. 
And Yemen's gift is this necklace right here. Then we have the then Union of Soviet Socialist Republics, um, also known as the USSR. We're going to go with the name they were under when they gave us the gift back in December 2nd of 1989. And that is this gift right here. Then lastly, but not least, is Australia. And that would be this gift right here. Okay, so you're going to go ahead and scroll down to page 15 for me. This is the last page of the packet. And this is our bottom line page. This is when we are going to put together all of our learning, as it were. We're going to use this page as an inspiration. So by using it as inspiration, it means we're not going to follow it step by step, but we are going to let it help guide us. I'm going to go ahead and read the instructions, the overall big ones. Congratulations! You have been elected as the President of the United States. Yay! Excellent job. Yay! One of your responsibilities as President of the United States is to be the Chief Diplomat. So that is the relationship builder with foreign nations. So you are now the Chief Diplomat and President of our country. So what you're going to do next is you're going to pick a country a foreign country that you would like to become friends with. It could be a country we already have a relationship with that's positive or negative, and you just want to improve this relation so it's even stronger, okay? And on a separate piece of paper, you're either going to draw the outline of this country, shape, write down the name of the country, or do both. You know, challenge yourselves. Little, really learn here. So let's go ahead and actually say that. I want you to draw a picture of this country and label it. Your geography teachers will thank me in the future. All right. So that's what you're going to do. That's step one. Choose a country. I give you the time to do this. I'm not moving on to step two now. I just need you to do step one. If you're struggling to choose a country, you can also... Kind of just whirl your finger around and then point. And wherever you kind of land at, where you're kind of pointing to, go ahead and just choose that country. And if you would like, you can do additional research on this country just to really help you think about how you can make a good gift for them. And you can pause this video as needed. All right. If you would like to go ahead and do number step two, you may do so, but I'm just going to skip over that for now. And we will move on to the third and final part, where you design your own gift of state to give to a country of your choice. So now in the big challenge of making your own gift, like I said, you're going to start with choosing the country you're going to give it to. You're going to design their gift. You can start by taking another piece of paper and designing, sketching out your idea on that piece of paper. For inspiration, you can look around your own home and see objects that are important to your family, something that has cultural value, familial value, things like that. That's the good starting point when you're trying to determine a gift idea or a design. A good diplomatic gift takes into consideration both the receiver and the giver. For example, one of the types of gifts that President Bush gave out during his presidency was an automatic tennis ball pitcher. So that's kind of neat. He was thinking about the receiver who really enjoyed playing tennis. So he gave them that. You can take your sketch and color it up beautifully. You can use the materials you have at hand, markers, crayons, a pencil, a pen, all of those are amazing art materials that you can do a lot with to make just a beautiful, beautiful drawing that you're just going to take your time on and be thoughtful with, and that can be your finished product. Or with adult supervision and permission, again, this part is with adult supervision and permission, you can take materials from around your house, such as old cardboard boxes, newspapers, 
yarn, so on and so forth. Again, asking with adult supervision what you can use. You're going to go ahead and bring that sketch of yours to 3D life. That means if whatever you draw, you're going to take these 3D materials such as the newspaper and the cardboard and the yarn and you're going to use glue or tape or whatever you have on hand with parent permission and you are going to build your gift. All right, so that is the challenge I am setting forth for you today to hand make a gift of state for the country of your choice. All right, so we're coming to the end of our video today. But to quickly recap, today we discussed that a gift of state is an exchange of objects between leaders of a country to foster or build stronger relationships. Again, a gift of state is an exchange of objects, like these, between leaders, like the president of one country to the president of another country, to foster or build stronger relationships. We looked at gifts of state that President Bush received during his presidency and that are now at the George H.W. Bush Presidential Library and Museum where they are kept safe on behalf of the people of the United States. After that, you designed or are designing and making your own gift of state for a country of your choice. If you enjoyed this video, we have more available such as a video about our Passport for Learning program where we cover different enrichment activity options. This pairs well with the Pillars to Live By activity on pages 3 and 4 of this packet. The Pillars to Live By are successful principles and practices of President Bush leading to actions he took throughout his life. The three Pillars to Live By are a lifetime of service, putting people first when making decisions, and building relationships to better the world. Page 3 is a series of visual and written examples of the pillars to live by. Page 4 is the student activity, where you can use page 3 as research material or you may create examples from your own life. All of this may be done on a separate piece of paper. I would just like to say good job everyone. Thank you for sticking it out with us. And I hope this lesson was of some value to you and some use. And we just appreciate you choosing to spend your time with us here at the museum, even just virtually. So if you have any further questions, please contact us at bush.education at n-a-r-a dot gov. All right. Thank you so much for your time and have a lovely day.